time. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the HLL Spring Seasonal of 2022. Joining me today is none other than Crotalus, the man himself. Go ahead and say hello. Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy indeed. Uh, today we're going to be covering the match between the 82nd Airborne Division and HLL Polsky and CC. Uh, we did see earlier that, uh, oh, and this is on Karen Tam, by the way, I should mention the map. Um, this stream is on a 15 minute delay just to make sure that there's uh, no prying eyes. And uh, we did actually cover the game before between HLL Polsky and the line. Um, the line ended up winning that game 5-0. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the score here. So this was for the qualifiers. Um, as we can see, the line was up against uh, HLLPL. And then uh, the line pretty much went undefeated into the main stage. Uh, so, And then they were up against uh, Trigger. And I won't spoil that match in case you haven't seen it yet. But... Um, as we can see here in the 0-0 category, uh, HLPL, uh, they did get knocked out of the first round, and they went 0-1, uh, but they did actually get back up. Uh, you know, they picked themselves up, and they continued on to 2-1, uh, and since being defeated by the line, they really turned things around, and uh, yeah, so that's where we're at now, and... If we take a look here, uh, we're now in the main stage of the tournament, and all the teams are 0-0, uh, except for the line and trigger. But again, if you haven't seen that match, I won't spoil it for you. Uh, I do recommend you go check it out, though. It's a really good game. Um, so overall, <clears throat> pretty excited to see what we're what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so Crotalus, any thoughts? I think it's going to come down to who can control that center of the map. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. And, um, you know, that, that brings up uh, a good segue into my next point. The map we're playing on today is going to be Carentan. Uh, this is a really exciting map. This is kind of a fun map. Uh, there's lots of tight alleyways and streets and enterable buildings and uh, it really makes for some close engagements here. Uh, and then this is the attack map, of course. So each of the sectors, the uh, from the B, the A and B file, and the C and D file, and the E and F file, and so on and so forth. Uh, there will be one from each of those, and we've got, uh, as anyone who plays Hell Let Loose knows, of course. Um, so the, we might get. Either canal crossing, town center, or train station, kind of as a center point. Um, canal crossing, that would be kind of a difficult point for uh, either the teams to uh, take and hold, I would say. Um, train station is a lot more open. There's a lot of bigger, more open areas, that kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of opportunity for, like, big open fights, kind of. There's still a little bit of tight action in there. Um, town center is going to be interesting if we end up getting that one. Uh, the the Axis powers today are 82nd Airborne, and that's going to be who we're, uh, whose side we're spectating with. So um, they're going to have kind of an easier route to get into town center uh, more quickly. But... It's all going to come down to the what the center point is and who can take it first and uh, pretty much how well they can hold it. Um, and then secondarily, the game will come down to what all the other strong points are. Um, depending on how aggressive or defensive the teams play, we might end up seeing a game that goes to full 90 minutes. And, you know, it's kind of like uh, push and shove and there's some gridlock or... You know, we might actually see uh, some very aggressive plays from either team. 
Um, as we know from the line match, uh, when the line went up against HLLPL, uh, overall that was uh, the line played very aggressively, and that's how they were able to push and win. Uh, just proud of the 30-minute mark, in fact. So um, really interested to see today what's going to what's going to happen, how things are going to play out. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. And, uh, Crotalus, what do you think? Well, it's all going to depend on, you know, where they're going to fight. If it's going to be down in the center of town, the Tiger is going to have a much harder time getting there. The Sherman will have the advantage. Yeah, true. Um, there's a lot of kind of open areas sort of to the to the west and to the south of town center. So it's a little bit easier for the allied tanks to maneuver in there. But overall, um, as uh, any any tanker will tell you, urban warfare is your absolute worst nightmare. Uh, there's going to be ATs around every corner. So I really think this game is going to come down to how good the infantry is and how the how the infantry game plays out. Uh, so we'll have to, we'll have to see how things, uh, how things go there. Um, I'm really interested to see what the center point is going to be and then what the other points are. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can, we can talk analysis all we want to, but, uh, as we know, no plan survives contact with the enemy. So, uh, you know, even if, even if 82nd Airborne and, uh, HLLPL, like even if they uh, bring their game face and they really have the best plan and they execute it, uh, it, things can fall apart really quickly. And, you know, Hell Let Loose, just as much as it is a game about uh, first-person shooting and strategy, it's also about crisis management. Um, you'll often run into situations where you're constantly trying to get something done. You want to get a garrison up. Uh, you want to you want to get supplies delivered to an area, and you get sabotaged. So, um, really interested to see how this is going to play out today. Um, and uh, of course, when we're talking about the two contenders here, uh, the uh, HLLPL, they were able to kind of secure their place in the in the main round of the tournament. Um, but uh, the the 82nd, they were actually seeded there to begin with. Uh, and, you know, the 82nd, they're a very good team. They've got a lot of solid players, and uh, I suppose that's how they got a seat. So, And uh, Crotalus, didn't you say that you used to play with the 82nd, like with, uh, what was it, Black Hawk Down? Long, long, long time ago. Long time mm -hmm. ago? Yeah. And uh, how how did they perform back then? Well, it was a mix of, you know, active members, non-active members, and, you know, just regular, you know, general public players. But, you know, they gotcha. were forced to be reckoned with. Okay, okay. Let's see how that uh, translates to uh, today and how let loose. But so. I think it's going to come down to anti-tank versus tank when the armor starts to get fielded and long narrow streets don't bode well for tanks. Yeah. I mean, you can say that again. Uh, I know that, uh, there's quite a lot of these long narrow streets. In fact, on the map here, most of these, uh, most of these roads in red are completely choked off by buildings, uh, especially around like the town center area of ruins and, uh, rail crossing, uh, I would say customs as well. So, um, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty pumped. I'm, I, I want to see how this is going to go, but, uh, and for the time being, we're actually just kind of waiting on the, uh, we've got all of the HLLPL guys in the game right now. Uh, they're kind of stacked up on the access side because, uh, how how it kind of works generally is you've got um, you've got the different the different teams pop in and they'll be on the opposite side and then um, the admin will rotate the map and the sides will flip. So right now they're on the axis side and uh, 
the 82nd are coming in on the Allied team just now. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can join. Keep my rifleman role here. Actually, I might even just go medic. I saw Incon doing that on the game that he casted, and I thought it was a pretty neat idea. So, not that it matters yet, anyway, because we're all we're all just kind of still in the setup phase. Uh, there we go. Just waiting for it to pop in. So. Just check the admin cam real quick. That looks good. Go ahead and... Uh, It'll be real interesting to see if they're going to pull out the anti-tank guns on this map. Yeah, I um, I would imagine that uh, they'd want to do that, you know, because AT guns are very good at kind of dominating these big, long lanes. Uh, so that's, that's going to be what we're looking for here. Uh, but they're also extremely effective at denying the infantry. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's also worth noting that, especially on these kind of tight maps where there's lots of choke points for tanks, uh, it's very, very simple, very easy, I should say, for um, knocked out tanks to kind of really just start piling up on the roads and prevent the movement of other vehicles. Uh, so, whereas infantry can kind of um, get around them, if if you're in a tank and you've got a tank wreck in your way, then usually the only way to get rid of it is having uh, having an infantry, like getting a, getting a satchel over there to kind of blow the wreck. So... Just doing a little bit of match warm up here. It looks like we've got uh, we've got a couple of the HLLPL guys uh, posing on top of uh, their tank before the game. And uh, well, that's a tiger. That that's not a tiger. No. Panzer IV. Well, I mean, it's a German tank. I oh they yeah. Were, they were going to be American or whatever, right? Right. Right. Yeah, they're they're gonna swap, so because um, right now, 82nd is on the U.S. side, and then HLPL is on the uh, on the Axis side, and then when the game starts, they'll swap. So got uh, got a supply uh, truck sorry, moving by in the way, here. Can you join? Um, just would it be? I'm suspecting we're gonna see a few sides. Are you here? That's it. Sorry, say again, Jim? Uh, I yeah, yeah, I'm just um, asking if you can join when the game starts uh, into Merck's squad, I guess? He's the artillery guy. Merck, M-Y-R-K, Merck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, will do. Uh, by the yeah. way, you boys are live on Twitch, so uh, go ahead and say hello. You're on the 15-minute delay. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Have fun, everybody. Mom, I'm famous. You are now. Hello, YouTube. Or hello, Twitch. Twitch says hello, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, on a 15 on a 15 minute delay, of course. So. All right. So uh, at risk of uh, rocking the boat here, I'm going to stop streaming the. Uh, let's see. I'm going to stop streaming OBS to you, and then I'm just going to stream the game. There we go. Okay, you should be able to check that out now. Uh, let me make sure that... Uh, okay, still got your lovely face up here. Good, good, good. And uh, you can see the game now, right? You should also be able to hear it. Crotalus? Yeah, I don't have the volume turned up right now. Not, but... Okay, okay. All good. I don't, have, I don't have the volume up too low right now, so. Okay, map was changed. Hey, boys! Say hi to Twitch! I'll be your caster for today. Say, say hi to Twitch. There you go, yeah. 
Let's fuck him up. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So now they're going to swap teams. They're going to be on the... Uh, they're going to be on the Axis side now. We're going to have an Axis point of view for this game. All right. I've been instructed to join Merc Squad because he is the artillery. All right. I'll just look in, look in here. This is going to be Merc, Merc, Merc. Wow, this guy's name is Canuck Canuck, and I really thought that he was you for a second. Kind of trip balls. Okay, he's in King Squad. All right. I'll go medic just for the. Uh... All right. Say hi to Twitch, boys. You're live. Nice. Make us look good. Damn. I will do my best. We'll we'll do uh we'll do artillery stream today. How's that sound? Oh awesome. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Okay. And here's the artillery. The big guns. I need to, I need to redeploy twice. Build them. Well, I see they're putting up their sniper defense. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is actually a pretty common tactic. Um, they got a whole bunch of supports to deploy out here and drop supplies. We actually saw this from, uh, from Trigger uh, on their match against the line. So, uh, you know, very, very interesting to see all this. Uh, well, of course, the uh, dead German bodies here. But uh, the point of the day, it looks like, is going to be train station. So we'll just kind of attach ourselves to the Lux here. Looks like they've already got all of the, uh, all the transport trucks up. They've got supply truck with the commander in it you know so so far so good they're just stacking up they're waiting for they're waiting for the match warm-up to kind of finish up here so all right good luck have fun boys you're live on twitch And they're off to the races. And let's go ahead and swap over to the game here. All right. So we've got 82nd Airborne representing Axis moving up to train station. We'll see who takes the initiative on this one. You know, having two... Uh, Transport trucks full of guys. Actually, three. It's one further south there. Let's see if we can take a look at it. Yeah, we can spot it kind of right over the horizon there. Just crossing into the grid squares now. Okay, looks like the 82nd is uh, starting to cap. So is HOLPL. Starting to contest it a bit here. Okay, it looks like they're going to jump out of that truck. And we've got the we've got the artillery coming down on both sides now. Okay, Artie Dutzman should take out a truck, but I believe it was empty there. 82nd already. Looks like they're already all over train station right now. Starting to get things kind of locked down here. Oh yeah. And in fact, let's uh, 
let's go ahead and take a look real quick and see who the artillery is going to be this game. All right, so on the HLLPL side, on the arty, we've got TVT. Of course, as a StarCraft player, I've read that as Terran versus Terran. We've got uh, Glizdor and Chaka, Chajka. And they've got kind of the, the setup here, so cool stuff. Let's take a quick peek at the, uh, the artillery pit on the 82nd side here. But as anyone who played H, you know, HLL knows, this is going to come down to who can keep their resources up in full. We've got Vex, Star Lord, and Merc. Very good. All right, let's get back into the action here. And we're on train station. We've got lots of smoke in already. Looks like there's been some intense fighting, and the initiative will go to the 82nd. They were able to cap the point, and uh, let's see uh, let's see how well they can hold it here got an MG up in this building. Olgis. Laying down some suppressing fire. Got Sherman Medium right here. Okay, looks like he's going to go down this uh, narrow corridor here. Just narrowly misses an artillery blast there. Artillery shell came in right down behind him. So, he's kind of pushing up this this uh, alleyway here. Uh, looks like uh, Jig Infantry Squad is in front of him. So, we'll see how this pans out. detach ourselves from the tank. We got Macbethed. Macbeth. Well, he's heading for the center of town, but I don't know. Yeah, he's got the infantry behind him. Not sure where he's looking at the moment, but... Go ahead and to maintain that heavy artillery fire, they're not going to have a lot of resources to waste on tanks. Yeah, and in fact, uh, it's a good point. Let's take a look here. So they've got now, obviously, uh, munitions and fuel are separate resources, but you know, if they burn through all their munitions, then they won't be able to use excess to convert to fuel if if needed. Uh, Looks like they've got all their nodes set up, so they're at plus 60 a minute. Uh, so I would imagine now, because we're not quite at the 10 minute mark yet, um, Commander's not going to have most of his powerful abilities available. Uh, so. Oh, we lost a vehicle over here. Let's see what that was. Just the truck it appears. Another vehicle went down over here. Let's see which one that was. That was a Stewart light tank. Okay. Looks like one of the uh, ATs got it. Pa Papa. Papa Steve. Pap His name is cut off. So it looks like we have kind of a skirmish going on over here. got Chris Garso. Oh, oh, he's going to take out the support, the Polish support player. And the second support It's two for two on killing support guys. Got the Gewehr, of course. So far, it looks like uh, 82nd doing pretty good at uh, 
kind of denying this little push here. And uh, we're kind of at the Delta 8, Echo 8 edge of the map here. So this is going to be kind of a big strategic area. Okay, it looks like they just all spawned in here. They do have a garrison up. HOLPL does have a garrison up here uh, in uh, Delta 8. It has been spotted by the infantry, though. 82nd AD, Alfie. Taking the Gary down. Nice play by Alfie there. And let's go ahead and... See what's going on over at Ruins. So, we've got kind of a, kind of a decent spread of uh, defense at Ruins here. From the, from the Polskis. 82nd, probably looking to put a little bit of pressure on this. Uh, but uh, so far, they're, they're pretty much... They've kind of got a skirmish line up around uh, where train station is at. And it looks like they're going to try and hold kind of these important northern lanes into the battle here. So, it's a little bit of a skirmish in this courtyard. We've got Wadzu and uh, Al Capone here, kind of exchanging fire. Capone looks like he got hit there. Looks like uh, Mancha over here has the high ground. But it looks like 80 sec is not really doing too much with the armor. Yeah, we've only, I think so far, we've only seen that one Lux from them. And, of course, uh, this is a recon vehicle up here. So, looks like 82nd is going to lose their position here, kind of uh, in, the, in the town center north of train station. Um, but uh, they might also not need that. So, it looks like there's... Another bit of a push coming in here from HLLPL. Uh, I did see a bunch of units spawn in. Let's see, is that going to be a Gary or is that an outpost? That is a garrison. So they do have a garrison down in uh, Delta 7 here. Kind of uh, kind of across the street from the from 82nd's garrison. So after having their first garrison denied, uh, it's important for them to get that one up. And they did, so... Props to them. I am hearing some uh, tanks getting hit over here. Let's see if I can figure out where that is. Sorry, I must be blind today. Alright, let's see. Okay, the tanks can be over here. There he is. That's a Tiger tank from the 82nd. Let's see what he's shooting at. I'll take a peek over his shoulder here. Just kind of got this whole field of view in front of him locked down here. So pretty good positioning there by that Tiger. It's always good to have an open uh, open angle on what you're looking at. So, and, uh, oh man. Looks like HLPL really is utilizing that, uh, garrison there. They're trying to what they're tr what they're going to try and do is have troops come in and probably cut across this field and sweep up into train station or you know if they're smart they'll probably take the roads up since those have a little bit more uh, cover. And uh, it looks like we've got plus 90 a minute on all the resources which means the uh, 82nd commander Luxel here has put in the uh, went ahead and done the encouraged ability. 82nd B is going to go down to Banana Nana here. And uh, Alfie's kind of watching the corner for him. Banana Nana throws a frag out. Not going to hit anything with that. 
a little bit of a standoff. I heard a ricochet over here. Let's see where that tiger went. But it tiger looks is. Like, it looks like they're narrowing in on that uh, garrison over there, though. Tiger's probably got AT. Ooh, that was uh, that was a 76 that took him out, or an AT gun, one of the two. Did get his frontal armor penetrated there. Whatever that AT gun is. I don't see it now. Okay, and it looks like Ghost Recon did spot the garrison here. They did manage to take the Gary out. Got a couple of bodies. Reduced the chunks of meat. I would imagine the uh, they got that with explosives. Probably, probably got called in for the, for the tagger, and he he took him out with HE now. Probably, yeah. We got Chris Garso here, bandaging himself. And it looks like 82nd has been on ruins for a little bit. And they're starting to cap. Wow. So, this is a pretty decent spread they have here. Uh, looks like they are doing a, um, they're doing a recon plane overhead. They're trying to figure out kind of where HLLPL is. Uh, got lots of Artie coming down, I would imagine, from the, from the Polskis here. And, uh, we do have an airhead north of Ruins from 82nd. So it looks like they're actually making a play for Ruins. Uh, this is a pretty aggressive play by them. And it looks like we've got a Sherman Medium advancing up MSR here at Ruins. Uh, so this could, uh, this could end up being decisive. He does get a hit on the tracks from the AT, Remba. Remba's lining him up again. Gets another hit on the tracks. And the uh, Sherman Medium is shooting at him in frustration, fruitlessly. All it's going to take is one guy with a sack and one behind him. Yeah, and we've got Biggles, the automatic rifleman, kind of behind the tank trying to distract it. It could be a satchel. It could also be uh, something else. We've got an assault running up. He gets gunned down. By, uh, looks like that's, uh, Hurtan. Hurtan-y. Ooh, the tank commander jumps out, gets Biggles. And looks like he's back in the tank already. Gets a squad lead. I think that was a squad lead. Kind of this really tight corridor here. I think Remba might be out of rockets. And there's the bombing run. It's going to just barely miss the tank here. And that's actually uh, HLLPL's bombing run. So, so far, uh, the Polskis have done well to uh, kind of keep contesting ruins. Uh, they're doing good at keeping AD from cap, 82nd AD from capping it. Uh, but uh, we'll see, we'll see kind of how that pans out here. <coughs> they're sort of, uh, they've got a good spread in the north side. Let's see if I can figure out where their garrison is at over here. So, uh, if they do have a Gary. So they got their supplies here, which means their garrison is right here, kind of in the middle of this field. So it's right in uh, Charlie 5. That's a decent spot for it. Um, so they're able to kind of advance up and conceal them through that field there. So, 82nd really holding ruins, really doing the best they can to keep it locked down here. Uh, that Sherman medium tank is putting in tons of work 
Uh, in fact, I would not be surprised if uh, we see that tank run out of ammo and have to RTB. So. Just lots of uh, open skirmishing here. Ooh! Sherman Medium does get taken out. Uh, I believe that was a satchel that got him. Actually... Oh yeah, pretty much. I mean... We've been there. Oh yeah. We've totally been there. The Colonial Armored has been there, for sure. But, uh... He can't stay... He, he, he just sat there just a little too long. I mean, like, it's okay to, you know, if you push your luck, you're gonna die. Yeah, that's kind of what it comes down to. I mean, obviously, if you're a tank, it's okay to hold a spot, but, you know, if you're in the middle of all those buildings, it's gonna be really rough. Considering what it costs and how long it takes to put up an AT gun, wouldn't you know? It doesn't take much to be able to tank. Oh yeah, for sure. So, 82nd has a garrison down in this Echo Six area, kind of near uh, Rue Giesmerd here. I know I butchered the hell out of that, but I'm sorry. I'm an American, uh, and uh, so we've got. Still got the, the 82nd on ruins. It looks like they are starting to cap. Now that they've got enough people in the strong point. Uh, since they were able to take out that tank. And uh, come to think of it. It is possible that uh, the tank was actually. Well no. That, I believe that's just the Stuart over here. No that's a Panzer IV. But I don't think this Panzer IV is responsible for killing the Sherman Medium. But, uh, got a little bit of a fire in the crew compartment there. Getting nice and, uh, toasty warm for their crew. Warm maybe, for life. Maybe, maybe it was cold in there and they just wanted to warm it up. Yeah, you never know. Um, maybe the tank commander, while he was smoking, uh, he dropped a Siggy on the ammo rack. But... 80 seconds, starting to cap ruins. In fact, they're about 67% done now. Doesn't look like the end is in sight, either. Yeah, if the 80 second can uh, cap ruins, it's going to give them a massive advantage here. Uh, mainly because, you know... HLPL, they'll have to retake Ruins and then push into train station again. And I would argue that Ruins is probably harder to uh, retake than train station would be. Ruins now belongs to 82nd. And what? What is this? Already on farm Ruins. I've already got a couple blueberries over here capping this. And uh, we see the, uh, the Polish commander. He's Desperately rushing up. It looks like he is going to contest the, the cap. Uh, so, but we'll see here. We've also got, uh, we've also got a heavy tank approaching. It's another Tiger from the 82nd. In fact, this might even have been the one we saw earlier. And, uh, this crew by, uh, 82nd Friendly Flyer, Burb, and, uh, Kraus. So he's kind of he's kind of right here. It looks like he's just gonna push over uh, into the territory here. Okay, so he's now contributing to the cap at Farm Ruins. Uh, wow, this is uh, this is quite an aggressive play here uh, for Farm Ruins already. So um, this Tiger, he's kind of going in without infantry support does have an AT on his flank. I don't believe he sees him yet. Uh, and it looks like he's uh, kind of going to be edge peeking this building here. Got a pretty decent force from... Ooh, a little bit high on that rocket just goes sailing over the Tiger. Um, I don't believe it's possible for the bazooka to penetrate the side of the Tiger anyway. Uh, but it does get, does get hit on the tracks there. So, 
Yeah, but it's not a bad play because now they're focused on the tagger and not on the rest of the infantry. That is true, yeah. So, and I mean, if we pop the map open again, like, we're not seeing any infantry over at Farm Ruins, but they do have a garrison up in Charlie 8, so I would imagine that if they wanted to reinforce this tiger, they can do that within the next minute or so. But, yeah, they're, this is actually, you know, this is it's pretty nuts of a play here, uh, considering that now they're they're pr pretty much what 82nd has done is they've taken ruins. They have a really nice spread on ruins, uh, you know, so they've got line of sight to pretty much this whole western area and uh, kind of the open the open fields to the north. Um, but uh, yeah, like this with this tiger down here, uh, what they're doing is they're causing the uh, causing HLPL some. But HLPL is going after the tiger. They're going to try to satchel him. We'll watch. We've got uh, we've got Shogun here. I believe he has a satchel loadout. He, ooh, 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 Thorpe takes him out. Thorpe he takes him out. Got some really good communication here. Uh, we've got uh, 82nd Spearhead living up to his name here. And uh, Cannon Fodder. Tiger is going to get hit by the AT. Uh, looks like uh, looks like another tank is shooting at it. Possibly an AT gun out there. Let's see where that next round comes in. So this is going to be an AT gun, in fact, back here. Looks like uh, this guy did get uh, taken out here. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite a painful and unnatural contortion there. So the tiger is still shooting. He doesn't know if the AT gun is up. But uh, we've got... Looks like we've got the, the commander, the 82nd commander on the garrison here. Uh, as well as a few squad leads. And uh, they're going to be pushing this whole angle here behind this tiger. So... Well, it's do or die for, you know, for the poles now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, I mean... I'm, I'm seeing this match and I'm seeing how this is going and, uh, ooh, the tiger does get taken out by the AT gun. Uh, tough luck for him, but, uh, you know, he was kind of pushing his luck there for a bit. Um, very good play there by, uh, by, uh, Curdy and Lit. Looks like, uh, they, uh, they all drank the Kool-Aid there. And, uh, wow, so, 82nd, purpose. He, you know. oh, yeah, once they took that tiger out, they, uh, they had nothing to live for anymore, obviously, uh, so, yeah, this is quite, uh, quite interesting here, so, it looks like, along with the, Along with the big aggressive push from the 82nd, uh, we've got kind of an overwhelming response from the poles here. And the more I look at this, the more I'm recalling the uh, match between uh, HLLPL and uh, the line. Uh, it's a very similar situation where the uh, 82nd and the line both kind of captured the middle point right off the bat and the poles weren't able to retake that uh, and then of course the second point also got uh, picked up there and uh, so we've got kind of we've got kind of this concave shape here with uh, the Polish troops uh, they sort of have kind of a surround here there's a bit of trench warfare going on all these guys are in the trenches here getting picked off one by one 82nd has some crack shots on their team. Wow. Quite impressive play there. And uh, if we take a look over here. But one good bombing run when you're lined up like that. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. 
yeah, the bombing run is going to be uh, devastating if it hits. So, we've got quite a few smokes in the field here. Looks like uh, there's some AT guns fielded by the poles right now. If we take a look at the... Um, if we kind of take a look at our uh, map here. Yeah, but 80 seconds doing the pincer right now. Yeah, that's that's exactly what they're doing. They're kind of they they have kind of this concave shape. They're surrounding the strong point at ruins, and they're really pushing into it right now with all they've got. Um, you know, this is. But if you look at the overview, they've got enough guys in the background that if that if HF if the poles move, try to move, they can forward them wherever they need them. Oh yeah, absolutely. And look at this; they're starting to cap farm ruins now. Wow, that's incredible. They're actually uh, starting to run it down now. They've got plenty of guys in the strong point. They've got a good spread of outposts around here. Uh, so we've got a Sherman Jumbo 76 from the poles and an AT gun over here. And a, they're going to desperately try and deny this push here on farm ruins. But uh, this is deja vu here for HLLPL. Well, that building makes that building is a great defense against them guns. Yeah, it absolutely is. But uh, you know, uh, 82nd, they've they've shown us before in the past in their past performance in tournaments that they're not to be fucked with, and uh, this is uh, this is pretty much what we're seeing here. So we've got we've got more poles up here. Uh, looks like they might they might have put in a Gary over here. Yeah, in fact that's got to be what it is. They do have a garrison back here in Alpha Eight, but wow. I mean, just I'm looking at all this. Artillery landing, though. They've got they've definitely got some artillery on it. Oh, looks like. Artillery did wipe out enough guys to get them to stop taking it for a second there. But they've got a lot more guys coming in. They've got kind of a skirmish line behind the behind the U.S. lines here. And, oh, man, that's an airhead. That looks like an airhead by, uh, by the 82nd. So, wow. There's the bombing run. Bombing run is by 82nd. Looks like it's going to miss... Uh, I believe it missed the majority of the poles there, if not all of them. Um, but, uh, wow. This is incredible. This is just... And this supplies is, coming in. Yeah, and they've got uh, the Germans, the 82nd's got supplies coming in. But it uh, looks like at this point they might not need them. There's uh, one last push coming up from, the, from HLLPL. Are they going to start contesting in time? I'm thinking no. Wow. Wow, what an amazing show there by the 82nd. Uh, you know, it's not something that, uh, that I expected, frankly. I thought that... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and commend the commander there, Commander Luxel, um, just for toughing that one out because that was... That was quite difficult there, but um, wow, yeah, that's that's a that's definitely a GG there. Uh, so we'll go ahead back to this view, and you know, what do you think, Crotalus? I mean, I I honestly didn't expect that to happen because we saw pretty much that exact same thing happen in the match with uh, HLPL versus the line. Uh, where the line kind of, they took the center point and then they kept pushing on. Um, you know, that, that last match was on Utah Beach. So they were able to take Sunken Bridge and then they pushed uh, Mammut Radar. Uh, so, you know, almost in this exact same time frame. So this is deja vu. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, but you probably, I mean, I, I can't say for right now, I don't know 82nd currently, but in the past, like I said, it was a mix of active members, veterans, 
you know, and general public. And, you know, that was just a basic textbook military maneuver. They just, you know, they adapted their strategy accordingly and the Poles couldn't recover. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, it's, it's just crazy to think that, um, you know, on it's, it's, uh, uh, hang on a minute. Oh, I do not wish to exit OBS. That was almost a big accident. Uh, some Alt F4 energy in here, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I frankly, I frankly wasn't expecting that. Um, and you know, we saw the 82nd. They t they uh, they took the center point, which was train station or train yard or whatever it's called. Um, then they moved on and took ruins, and then the the last point they already had a couple blueberries on farm uh, when they capped ruins and. Uh, they just kept that forward momentum going, and that's in Hell Let Loose. That's deadly. And I mean, like you said, they did a really good job of uh, um, being uh, doing their combined arms and all that. So, um, like, I was interested to see the Tiger tank that they fielded and how they were using that to their advantage. Um, the the Poles had some pretty good tanks as well. They had that uh, they had that Sherman medium at ruins that was contesting it for a while until it got taken out, but um, I I kind of said from the beginning that it would all come down to infantry, and I think that's pretty much what we saw here today. So yeah, well, Karen Ten is not a tank friendly map. Um, no, no, it's and, not. And you have you know if if you look at what eighty second did, eighty second always had people back behind ready to move up on a on a second's notice if they needed them they weren't right. otherwise engaged with the, you know they look they might they were behind you know they were behind lines in reserve ready to roll not you know in other taking too many points at once right right and i mean that's kind of uh honestly that's kind of what i expected to see from both teams uh but you know when you've got when you've got a really good team, a really stellar team like 82nd, and they're bearing down on you, and they've got uh, they've got a lot of crack shots, and um, they're just being super aggressive with that push. Like, what can you do? You, like, I I kind of I kind of feel bad for uh, HOLPL because they really just kind of got their head handed to them on a platter here. Um, well. I'm really surprised that they didn't fortify, you know, the heck out of that, the ruins. They should have, that should have been fortified and made it, make it extremely difficult to get in there. They didn't do anything. Yeah, I think, I think the fortifications, at least in the competitive meta, aren't really, uh, they're not really as common as what you would see in public games. Um, well, they, they fought, they did have bunkers on their artillery pieces. They not, not just walls, they had actual bunkers. So they were using fortifications, but they didn't put them where they needed them. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's definitely part of it. Um, the, the other thing to consider, Karen Tan kind of already has a lot of kind of those little niche spots for infantry to jump into the buildings and kind of get a line of sight on everything. Uh, we did see, um, we did see a couple of MGs kind of, poking over the edge a few times out of a few of the buildings, like from the second and third floors. So, yeah, I mean, just impressive, very impressive show of force from the 82nd today. Uh, I I honestly didn't expect it to, to play out that way. I thought, okay, maybe because the polls, they kind of, uh, they kind of had a chance to uh, get everything together and they're coming in, they're coming off with uh, being uh, two and one against uh, the line, so I figured, you know, they might, they might, uh, they might actually give 82nd a run for their money. But I mean, even though they didn't, like, for one thing, they've got a lot to be proud of, and I mean, uh, it's not easy to get in these competitive tournaments and go up against these teams who have been doing this stuff for such a long time and know the meta. And I mean, if we pop over to the score here, um, as we can see, uh, even though they've the polls have lost 
this game against 82nd AD. 82nd is going to go to the 1-0 bracket here. Uh, and then the polls are going to be down to the 0-1. And, and the only way you get eliminated from the tournament, because it's a Swiss tournament style, is if you end up with three losses. So, you know, the polls, they still, they still have a decent chance to come back from this. I mean... Who knows? We might even see them go 0-1, and, and then uh, they could win against uh, who they're up against there and then go 1-1, one one, maybe even 2-1. And, one. and uh, you know, at, at best they would make it to the playoffs, and that would be that be uh, very impressive there. So They've got one major factor now. They've lost twice against opponents that used the same strategy, and they couldn't counter it. So, you know, if their future opponents... If they don't adapt and their future opponents use the same strategy, they're going to have a problem. That's true. And, you know, a lot of the smarter teams who are playing in this tournament are going to look back on these matches and uh, kind of figure out, like, okay, well, how did the Poles get beat? And this is it. They just uh, they were unable to take the uh, middle point at the beginning of the game, and they lost the initiative there. And um, the, the enemy kept the pressure on them, and they eventually just got demolished so it it's interesting to see things play out this way but you know that's uh that's the way it goes and uh hey hats off to 82nd um 82nd did really good this game i'm super excited this is kind of their debut in the spring seasonal tournament and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing where they go next so um, overall, nothing is lost here yet, uh, except maybe a little bit of pride. But I mean, um, that's uh, that's just how it goes. So, uh, well, any closing well, thoughts, Sir Crotalus? Well, I told you earlier, don't don't discount eighty second. Oh yeah, that's right. It's exactly what you did, and uh, that's uh, that's what uh, that's what ended up happening here. So, good call on that. But uh, I think with that, we're going to go ahead and cut the stream off. And then once the delay finishes, I'll figure out who I can raid. But thank you, everyone, so much for tuning in. It's always a pleasure for me to, uh, to, to cast these games for you. I enjoyed casting. I'm your host, Tesseract. This is Crotalus. And uh, until...